<laughs> Hi everyone! Hey everyone! Welcome to today's live stream. It's a bit smoky in here. I know. I uh, I'm sorry. I almost burned a house down here, but uh, <coughs> I'll explain later what happened here. But uh, welcome. Uh, I'm Ja, and this is uh, I'm Mike. So uh, <coughs> let's first tell you, you know, what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> we're going to bring out the overview of you know the highlighted must-have gaming desktops from MSI. Uh, I'm going to get you familiar with you know the unique features and we'll be doing some product demonstrations and uh, there's gonna be a lot of fun this stream so uh, look forward to that and don't move away and like usual we have a giveaway right definitely do all right so this uh, this stream you can win uh, you can be one of the winners actually because we're going to be uh, we're going to be giving multiple steam codes throughout the stream exactly so go to msi.com slash to slash uh, insider and uh, go like all the pages there so the more you do the more you like the more chances you have at winning yeah you can do different actions there and based upon how <coughs> many actions you complete you will get an x amount of uh, of like points to participate the more points you have the bigger chance you have to yeah. win so make sure to check it out exactly so <clears throat> what happened here <laughs> yeah try uh, to yeah. build a computer and Jai is not very good at building computers, <coughs> as you might have seen already. Yeah, you know, it doesn't look that complicated, but once you actually start building your own PC, it does seem like, uh, you know, you can burn quite a, quite some stuff or, you know, the entire room and house down. So, you know, I Did think you? I'm just going to stop with, uh, you know, the, the, the components and the PC building part and leave that to you, Mike. Yeah, I think that's a better Seems idea. Seems to be uh, a lot I safer. think it's also a safer idea, yeah. Exactly. Because you'll so probably think, burn the office down if yep. you tried it once more. I think this is our beautiful new Femperic case. Uh, I hope I didn't ruin it. I think you ruined all the hardware inside though. But yeah, yeah let, let's not... Let, let's let not me just <laughs> take that and <laughs> so. don't touch it again. <laughs> it's not as easy as, as it seems, guys, to build uh, your own PC. But <clears throat> I think it might be safe to say that I'm not the only one who is bad at building PCs, or perhaps uh, some other people who doesn't want to admit they're bad and just say they're lazy. You or know, you don't even want to try at all to avoid these situations. Exactly. You know, there are a lot of uh, people out there who doesn't want to build their own PCs for all kinds of reasons. Now, uh, I might be bad at it. Uh, Mike is a genius at building PCs, but you know, for people Thank like you. me, I'm, I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people like me out there who doesn't want to build their own PC. And I think, you know, for that part, we have, uh, that's like the reason why we have pre-built pre uh, gaming PCs, right? Definitely. To give uh, the gamers the choice, uh, all the choices in the world. From no, no danger involved. Exactly. So you can have the pre-built package, you know, ready, deliver at your house. You push the button and you're ready to go at gaming. Now, for that reason, we have a lot of pre-builds. And today we're going to be showing you, uh, showing you a highlight of... You know, the chosen uh, overview with a lot of the gaming desktops that we have for all kinds of uh, gamers. So whether you're an uh, enthusiast, you know, if you're a beginner or just a casual or somewhere in between, you know, for everyone out there for you, you know, there there's going to be a model available, you know, that suits you the best. So, so now before you really had to build your own PC to exactly. make it to your liking. But now there are so many different exactly. kinds. So you, you can, can just, just you know, pick whatever you like. Pick and choose. And I think, uh, yeah, let's bring out the PCs, right? Let's do so. Because that's what this stream is actually about. So I already see a whole bunch you have there. In the yeah, corner. it's like packed right here. And uh, if you come in here... I think you don't have to go to the gym tonight. <laughs> so, first of all, this is our Infinite X, for those of you who are familiar with it. And uh, excuse me if it's a bit dirty, because I've touched it with my fatty fingers already. Did you have a hamburger for lunch? No, I might <laughs> have had fries. <laughs> and here are That's a lot beautiful, smaller. beautiful Trident X. So are we going down in size like that? <laughs> Perhaps, but size doesn't always matter, right? <laughs> it's about the performance. Yeah. The Aegis. Way more aggressive design. Yes, and it's similar in size, but it's not quite the same. We're not finished yet. More to come. Actually, this is uh, something. Now we're getting smaller. 
Yes, it's actually a new product. Uh, and today you're getting a sneak peek, so you know, you've come to the Just right place the because of the Amazon Insider. Insider. You're getting inside information. But uh, this won't be shown too much during this stream, so uh, take a good so look at it. I've never seen before product. Well, that's not entirely true because this is like a newer version of an existing product. So the look might be a bit similar to some people. If you, uh, I, do, I do recognize the size, the shape, the layout. Exactly. So if you're familiar with the Infinite series, uh, the Infinite S, then uh, this will look familiar. Let's put it that way. And now the super comfortable and small Trident 3. There's actually also a black version of this. Well, let me just put it up anyways. Some people are talking about the giveaway link that they cannot see yes. it on the page. I will so also post it in chat. There's so. a black version. The exact same configurations and everything except the difference in color. All right. So let me make a bit room here. Today's topic, the overview of the must have gaming desktops all right here in front of you. So let me just introduce these bad boys one by one. Here we have the Infinite from the Infinite series, the Infinite X. So that's the highest tier model in the Infinite series. Yes, so X power, you know, the highest in the Infinite series. And here we have the Trident X, same principle. So it's from the Trident series, but it's the X. So, you know, like Mike said, it's the highest tier Top in tier the Trident hardware. series. Yes. And here we have the Aegis 3. Moving on, well, it's from the Aegis series, so you kind of get the idea, right? Infinite series, Trident series, Aegis 3 from the Aegis series. And then we have, again, one more model from the Infinite series, the Infinite S, which you'll be getting the sneak peek about today. So the S is for? It's not for small. No, it's not for small? No. <laughs> I thought like maybe X for extreme and S for small? No. Okay. Nice try. <laughs> so here we have the Trident 3 from the Trident series. And so before I really, you know, give you an individual introduction into their features and, you know, what you can do with them, let me, let me just give you, uh, first of all, a shared uh, feature overview for all these products. And before that, so obviously we have quite a few models right here, right, Mike? Definitely. And let me just like ask you, like, what kind of gamer are you? Like, uh, do I'm... you game all the time? Like, are you just a beginner or? Um... No, I do mostly like a combination of productivity and gaming not really like i do only one thing on it so right so but then do you if you game do you like require like the best of the best from your gaming pc I, or do you just settle down with maybe less because you don't require that much for me the most important thing is that it's small because i like to go to land parties once in a while huh. so that's like my main priority so I will probably be on this spectrum. <laughs> right. So, you know, for me, um, I actually prefer like something in between, like, you know, not the smallest, but also not the biggest, not like full size tower or a very small form factor because I like to put them on my desk, but I don't, my, don't like my desk to be very fully decorated with new huge desks. Huge tower. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, what I'm getting at is that, you know, we have a lot of models right here from, you know, different uh, lineups. The reason is that <clears throat> we have every model for every gamer's uh, taste. So, for example, if you are just like a casual gamer and you don't require, you know, a lot of gaming power, you know, well, you're not going to be, you know, purchasing an Infinite X, you know, with the highest of the highest setup, the configurations or the Trident X. You know, you might just settle down with, uh, for example, Infinite S because it packs a lot of gaming power, you know, but still it's lower and it's better for your budget. So that might be suiting you better than, you know, these two bad boys or even this one. I'll tell you later about all the configurations uh, individually, but that's what I'm trying to say here. So, you know, we have like a lot of lineups to suit, you know, a lot of your taste and what you, in, uh, what you individually uh, require from your gaming PC. That all depends on, you know, how much do you game and wh when you game, you know, what do you actually want from your game? Do you want what the best resolution graphics? do you play yeah, on? Exactly. Yeah. So, Enough choices to suit your uh, taste. Now, the shared features part. You know, we like to pack our gaming PCs with a lot of unique features, you know, so that you can have, you know, no matter what kind of gaming desktop uh, you purchased or uh, want to have in the future, 
you're going to be uh, going home with some great features. So even though, you know, here we have the highest tier desktop and here we have some lower tier desktops, you know, they can still come with the same set of great, nice features that benefit you. So, you know, just let's start with silence door cooling. So I'm not sure if you guys are also familiar with silence door cooling. If you keep, uh, if you kept up with our live streams, except especially mine, you might be familiar with it. So silence door cooling, you know, it sounds quite cool, but what it, what it comes it is down pretty to, cool. yeah. So, like literally. <laughs> did you see what he did there? Okay, maybe that's an inside joke, perhaps. <laughs> so you, you gotta know what it is first to understand it. So he said <laughs> it's really cool. It's, <laughs> that's because silence from cooling is yeah, what it says, cooling, right? It's for cooling. So silence from cooling will take care of the chambers in your PC. Well, actually, it separates your CPU, your GPU, and your power supply into three separate chambers. So that each of the chamber will have, uh, will have its own uh, air inflow and air outflow. So they will not, you know, amplify each other's heat. So this way, your PC can have the optimal um, heat dispersion. So silence storm cooling, you know, that's what it comes down to. And if you really go a tier higher even, you can go for silence storm cooling pro. Your desktop will even come with uh, liquid cooling for your CPU. What more can you request? You know, so all these models like right here from all the lineups, they are they all have silence from cooling. You know, because we just want your gaming gear, your hardware to have the optimum heat dispersion. We have a short question in between by Shady oh, Human. We have, we have some questions. He's looking for the Trident uh, X with the 2080 Ti, but he or she cannot find it anywhere. Well, that actually is that based on region, maybe, or? Uh, well, to answer the question, uh, it, it's correct that you cannot find it everywhere because uh, there's been a time uh, when 2080 Ti has been uh, on the shortage, so we had to uh, downgrade all the configuration. And depending on you know, you know what region you're from, that might differ. Yeah, so, so there are I'll, different configurations in yes. different regions. So it's not like uh, every model is set with one configuration. So that's why I also mentioned uh, there are different configurations within the same models. And later I can tell you more about that. So uh, to answer your question, yes, the Trident X comes with uh, 2080 Ti, but that's not the only configuration. So you can also come with 2080. And depending on your region, you might or might not find 2080 Ti. And depending on, you, on what time you're actually looking. So I hope that answers your question. Good and question. Joseph Gonzalez saying, I love how easy the upgrade work is on the Trident. You are, you're actually skipping ahead of time, my buddy. <laughs> <laughs> because that, those are actually one of the features I was going to explain and something I was going to demonstrate later. But since you talked about it anyways, yes, you're absolutely right. Even though the Trident X is very uh, small, it's only 10 liters. I'm not going to talk too much about this because later I'll be deep diving into this it's actually quite easy to upgrade so yeah you're, you're absolutely right <laughs> and uh, happy I'm happy that you actually have one because uh, it's way above uh, <laughs> it's way above me <laughs> I just want to take one home but I can all right so, so uh, if it's missing we know where it is <laughs> so back to back on topic so I just explained to you that you know all the desktops they will be uh, powered by silence from cooling now, the next feature that I want to highlight is vertical graphics. As you can imagine, um, let me just take an example here. The Trident 3, it's actually very small. It's, it's well, as you can see, a normal uh, graphics card, you know, put in horizontally will not fit in there. So that's actually one of the reasons why we also have uh, vertically gra integrated graphics, so that we can optimally make use of the spaces that we have, so we can create even smaller PCs. But a stronger argument is that uh, vertical graphics, you know, it will really make sure that you do not damage your PCIe slot. So if you're moving your PC around or, you know, over time when the graphics card becomes heavier and heavier, you can bend your PCIe uh, slot. So that's really great and I think personally this is the best reason for me is because I can guess what, what, what can you guess <laughs> it looks really cool yes <laughs> I mean nowadays you have so many nice looking graphics cards they're just so sexy with RGB everywhere exactly you know all, all the nice accents you know accompanied by the RP, uh, RPG <laughs> RGB um, you just really want to look at it if you have it I can imagine because that's just so nice at least that's how i think so if i have the vertically integrated graphics card in my pc and i have a glass case uh, side panel that's going to be so awesome to just constantly look at your pc instead of your monitor playing the game 
and then just enjoy how good it looks. So I think that's like one of the great features why, oh, I mean, one of the great advantages of vertically integrated graphics. So that when you purchase like a really nice and expensive graphics card, you can also enjoy how it looks. Right? Which we will definitely see on some of the models today. Exactly. We have a question in between. Uh, Srayan Jain, I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly, but... Uh, that's a difficult name. Yeah. My apologies if I did it wrong. Uh, he's asking which Z390 motherboard is perfect for my i5 uh, 9600K. Well, Mike, your expertise. Yeah, motherboards is, uh, is my thing. So uh, it, it depends, of course, on what size you want. Do you want mini ITX? Do well, you want micro ATX? We, do we want full ATX? We actually have somebody in the chat that knows our products. Who's uh, somebody saying, you know, the Mac Ace? <laughs> yeah, it could be. Ace is really high Good end. Good job, so summertime. With, with an i5, I would more think of like the the Gaming Edge maybe, or the Gaming Pro Carbon. I think they're perfectly the suitable Pro for Carbon. the... Mm. I think they're great with, with an i5. Uh, the Ace is a bit higher tier. They're usually um, used in combination with an i7 or an i9, for example. Yeah, but the look of the Ace is also really accompanies, you know, that really high tier. It looks really cool. Premium. I think the the gaming edge and gaming pro carbon are also really pretty yeah, products. Definitely. So definitely take a look at them. I think they match great with an i5 9600K. Yeah. He is still repeating his question, <laughs> right? Yeah, maybe it takes a couple. Of, there is a slight delay yeah, in the stream, okay, right. so maybe it takes a while before the yeah. answer gets. There. So yeah, we hope uh, Mike answered your question, uh, and if that's okay, we'll uh, continue. Yeah. All right, so where were we? Don't be yeah, I just talked about vertical, uh, vertical graphics. Sorry, Sorry I, I blabbed on so much about <laughs> vertical graphics because I really love how graphics card looks. Oh, look. So next up, <clears throat> I already said that somebody spoiled it uh, because the next feature uh, that we always have in our desktop is that we make sure that they are easy to upgrade. So, you know, we build the PCs with your future needs in mind so that whenever you need to change the video card, uh, graphics card, or, uh, you know, change some RAMs or uh, upgrade some storage, whatever it is you need, that you can easily, you know, take out the old components and put in the new ones without, you know, you can imagine that some pre-builds, especially when you go down, go down in sizes, that yeah. it becomes really... That can be a real hassle. A pain in the... Something. to uh, <laughs> upgrade because it's just so compact so yeah. squeezed uh, in together so later uh, I'll also demonstrate you know just with a Trident X and 10 liters in volume just how easy it is like someone already said in the chat to upgrade I like some very small PCs they sometimes use uh, different types of graphics cards to make it fit yeah. but these all use regular RTX sized graphics cards so there are small graphics cards in there but they're like general graphics cards that are also available on the market. Yeah. Uh, all right, so they're easy to upgrade. Next up, um, I think most of you already are very familiar with our Mystic Light. <coughs> Each model uh, in the lineups, they're all, all uh, equipped with Mystic Light. So for those of you who doesn't know what Mystic Light is, it's our own RGB, uh, say, feature. that will let you really, um, let's, let's just point something out. For example, here we have uh, Mystic Light, <clears throat> and here we also have Mystic Light. So you can see, you know, it's really rotating all the nice colors. Uh, you can choose whatever you like in the software, and they are all equipped with Mystic Light. So you can enjoy that. And uh, for those of you who doesn't like RGB, you can also switch it off. I cannot <laughs> find anyone like that nowadays, but you can also switch it off. Of course, so Mystic Light, they're all come with Mystic Light. You can control it with the app in the computer, in your, uh, on your desktop or just on your app, mobile phone app, that's also possible. So they all come with Mystic Light too. Now, next up, audio. Personally for me, you know, whenever, especially because I'm playing competitive games, I think audio is really important because that's sometimes really the difference between getting stabbed in the back or turning around in time and being called out for a cheater because you knew he was coming. So simply the difference between winning or losing? More or, le more or less, yes. So audio for me personally is very important. And <clears throat> we have in all, all the desktops, you know, built in a pre-built, well, it's the same, pre-built uh, audio amplifier, our audio boost feature. So you can really crank up your audio quality. And uh, if that's not even enough for you, you know, we made sure that's going to be enough because we also added Nahimic support. So. They all come with Nahimic, and interestingly, interestingly, Nahimic. Well, they're a uh, obviously they're a sound engine company, but they started off 
doing military work and uh, industrial projects. Yeah, I think uh, they actually did that for the French army, for yeah. their combat fight simulators. And they providing all the sound engines. Exactly. And, uh, I think so for mil military training and stuff. Yeah, and about 10 years ago they moved into consumer uh, industry. So they really know what they are doing. <laughs> You're getting yeah. military grade in your desktop. So uh, they have their own dedicated software. So Nahimic, uh, Nahimic is really like a 3D uh, surround sound uh, feature. And when you open their app, it's really use, easy to use. You can choose from all the effects. They even have dedicated gaming uh, mode. You can virtually just change all this, every setting there is that you can think of about how your sound will sound like. We have a question really by Merrick. All, are all the desktops Intel or are any of them AMD? <laughs> At the moment, what you're seeing uh, and what you'll be introduced to, Intel. So we have an AMD fanboy here, perhaps. But there is, there is definitely an option that some of the models might yeah, also come out. Exactly, with AMD. it's not it's not set in stone yeah. that, uh, that they won't come yeah. out, you know, next year or somewhere later this year with an AMD. I'm not saying they will, but I'm not saying they will not. Who knows? Because yeah. we never know. But at the moment, Intel all the way because gaming. And uh, if you do gaming and streaming, AMD can also be a very nice choice. So. Yes. <clears throat> But uh, to answer your question, yes, Intel at the moment. Uh, any more questions? Oh, somebody has... Oh, uh, we have some more questions. Uh, I see the chair there. You noticed your chair. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Does hmm. MSL sell gaming chairs? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to know about the chair, uh, let me just briefly touch on the chair. Uh, at the moment, you know, we have some promotions running. And if you get the Trident X, you get this beautiful that you cannot really see gaming chair oh, this way for free hidden behind all the gaming desktop yeah i'll show you later when the desktops are off the off the desk so right now uh try the next means you'll get a uh, gaming chair for free and i think they can easily they can even win a pelican case right definitely yeah yeah, I'm not sure if you're interested, but if you're interested, Mike might post a link in the chat for you to check out. But uh, Yeah, we already did yeah. show the, the Pelican case in the previous stream, so I can uh, send you a link to the correct timestamp yeah. in that stream. Check that out. And there you can see the Pelican case. So <coughs> and guys, let me remind you, if you haven't signed up yet for the giveaway, please do because I feel like we're about to draw the first winner. I think that so, sounds like a great idea. <clears throat> um, in the meanwhile, I have a question from one of our viewers. These are all all pre-built machines or just enclosures? No, those are pre-built. So, short and powerful So answer. all of them come with gaming hardware installed. Yeah, so we because, already got quite we, a lot of because we are gaming. Amazon is gaming. And while Mike takes a very slow approach to this, I'll put everything down. And uh, if you have any more questions, we'll answer those in the meantime. And for our next part, I'll also have to set up our beautiful Trident X. So be a bit patient. Kelly Chris, 90 is asking, where do I sign up? You can go to msi.com slash two slash insider. Uh, there you can see a link. If you cannot see it there, because some people were telling me they cannot see it. I will also post a direct link to Gleam chat. And there you can participate. You can perform certain actions. The more you perform, the more chance you will have to win. So the more points you will get in the, in the giveaway. So it should be in chat now. Um, our first winner oh, of what? one of the 20 US dollar value Steam Wallet codes. We had the first winner. Is Who is it? Kurt van Hoven. I don't know. Kurt van Hoven. It sounds Dutch. It, it sounds very Dutch. Yeah. Yeah. So congratulations, Kurt. Yeah. Make Hope good you, use of uh, it. Buy a very nice game from it. Yes. Go or 3D Mark or whatever. I think 3D Mark is also on Steam nowadays, right? I think I heard something about that. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure. So we already have first winner, guys. If you haven't registered, we have a Please lot more so. game codes coming up. So. More chances Go to register, win. check it out. So hooking up the nice Trident X. Yes. I keep touching the door and then it opens. Because it's a magnetic door, right? Yeah. I think it's very nice. 
Oh, my screen was flashing for a second. Yeah, I just, connected, good. I just good. connected the power, so it's, okay. they're all on the same socket. All right, there we have it. <clears throat> Trident X is hooked up. So earlier I talked about Mystic Light. Now you can have a first-hand experience. Well, actually, just look at it. Already one of the effects is activated. What it is. And this is the lightning effect. Yeah, I think right now the lightning effect is on. And guys, don't mind the feeder card that's sitting right in here because this is actually our gaming C. I'll, I'll open it later to show you, but it, they will not come in the configuration. But we just swapped it in for our demonstration purpose because I'm going to swap it out later. So we're going to, to show how to upgrade the yes. system. So someone already was talking about that in chat, and we will demonstrate it later. Yeah, so uh, I'll also do some uh, software demonstrations uh, on the Trident X, but before I go into that, let me just uh, talk about you know some unique features uh, to the Trident X itself. So before this, right, I have shared the shared features between the desktops, but of course the individual desktops sometimes will always have their own set of unique features too. You know, to start off, you know, I think this guy already was like waiting to show up because he kept opening because I touched it. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one, actually, the Trident X doesn't come with well out of the box. It doesn't come with the tempered glass. It will come with a full metal side panel, but the tempered glass is also in the box. So, so it's included if you buy the Trident. X. Exactly. So you can choose to, you know use the tempered glass version or not. Personally, I cannot think of a reason why you won't use it because it's just so beautiful. And maybe if you're going to a gaming event, because yes. glass is obviously uh, easier to damage than, exactly. than a metal yeah. plate. <clears throat> so you can easily swap it out. It's, uh, well, maybe you can show it on the detail cam, just how easy it is to uh, take the, this little door off. Here we have like two, well, here's one, and there we have another one, two hinges where the door will rest on. And if you take it off, that's all. So now let me just put it back. And then you can take this off and then put on the metal side panel, screw it on, and that's it. Shady so units from the United States. Um, I would suggest going to your uh, local uh, retailer to ask if they can order the Trident X for you, maybe. Because I'm, we're not from the United States. I'm, I don't think we can directly yeah. help you with, with that. It really depends from region to region where you can buy it. So yes, yes. I'm sorry, but I cannot answer that question right away. It would uh, really be the best to just, uh, yeah, ask the retailers or the e-tailers. Yeah. Any more questions? Let me see. A compliment from Joseph. Mm. So good. Mm. Hard attempts inside this case. I'm going to suppose you're talking about the Trident X. Uh, the temperatures are excellent, actually. Uh, that's also partly because the silence of cooling <clears throat> the silence of cooling which takes care of the heat dispersion and separates the case into three chambers so the cpu chamber the gpu chamber and the psu so that you know you can have the optimized heat dispersion also because we just have excellent cooling on our hardwares because we use our in-house hardware so our own gpus yeah. you know they have excellent heating dispersion uh well and it's really necessary if you want to have because it goes the, the highest version we have is 9900K yes. Core i9 with a 2080 Ti. So, yes. so it, it really needs decent cooling mm, because exactly. it's really top tier hardware. And before it goes out of the house, well, the production phase, I mean, it's going to be tested all over again to, you know, give you the best uh, experience while gaming so it doesn't overheat, obviously, because of the small form factor. Christopher Patterson is asking, is it a micro ATX case? <laughs> Oh, it's not micro ATX yet. It's even smaller. <laughs> it's mini ITX. Well, <clears throat> so next up, let me just show you, uh, it'll be clearer on the other cam, the next feature of the Trident X. So if we can switch to that. Yep. This beautiful little ring you see here is our custom-made Mystic Light CPU cooler. So. You can imagine, uh, you know, uh, Mike already said this goes all the way up to i9 9900K. We have our own, co own custom-made CPU cooler to, you know, power, well, to fight just that, to keep it cool. And we even have our own custom-made Mystic Light RGB effects. 
So that's the, like the second unique feature to the Trident X. And uh, for those of you who missed out on the configuration, uh, we have already briefly mentioned that it goes all the way up to uh, i9 9900K and RTX 2080 Ti. And the case is only 10 liters. So you can see it's like not even like three quarters of my upper body. So in 10 liters, we have, ma we have man uh, managed to pack up i9 9900K and 2080 Ti. So that's uh, like the brief uh, setup for you. And but you want Co-Ken for scale? <laughs> there we go. This is a hey. European Ken, by the way. In America, have, they're slightly bigger. <laughs> Co-Ken for scale. <laughs> we need uh, to have bananas here. We usually have yeah. bananas for scale. Let's, uh, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back. Simon so, is asking, Trident X comes with one year global warranty. I think that's also dependent on the region, right? Yes, uh, it's really hard to uh, give you a, a general direction for the warranty because yeah. uh, they can make different arrangements in different regions. Yeah. So, well, yeah, one year is like the minimum, so you can go check that out. But that, really that's interested. also different from, from location to location, because I think in Europe, two years is the minimum. So it really, uh, it depends. Mm -hmm. So check yeah, with your retailer what the warranty is exactly. All right, I think we're done with the detailed. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, we've given you the configurations, but this really differs per region because uh, some regions might prefer different configurations. So uh, it comes in different uh, configurations. It can go all the way down to 2070, 2080, um, uh, i9 9900K is the highest, and then you can go down to i9, uh, sorry, um, i7 9700K. So uh, whatever configuration you will find depends on you know, what kind of region you're in. So if you're interested, go check out at your own uh, e-tailer or retailer. Well, uh, back to the features. So I've explained two features now, and it's 10 liters in size. So I keep repeating this because this is important for you to remember. And it also has its own built-in PSU, power supply. But that's not a regular power supply, right? <clears throat> am I correct? No, correct. But we have managed to put that in the 10 liters case. And so whenever you're traveling around or whenever you're putting this into somewhere where you want to have nice cable management, you don't have to you know, worry about the big, gigantic power adapter, right? Yeah. That some small uh, form PCs uh, still have. So, so everything's just... Yeah, ready to just go. Just put in your power cable and, and you're ready to go. Yeah. And that's it. So the power supply is <coughs> an SFX model. So that's... Maybe not everyone is familiar with those kinds of power supplies yet, but the standard power supply you usually see in, in also uh, custom-built PCs, yeah. but also most pre-built models, the full-size models. It's an ATX power supply, that's the most common one. But nowadays, SFX is getting more and more common yeah. in, in small PC builds. Mike right? knows a lot about that, so while he is explaining that to you, <laughs> I'm going to be doing something to explain to you the last feature, the unique feature that's, you know, to the Trident X. Sounds good. So SFX power supplies, they're getting more and more common also with, with smaller custom builds. Um, and we also use that technology in the Trident X to get it this small. So it's, it's quite a big difference. Maybe I can show you in the detailed cam. So here you can see the back of the power supply. As you can see with my hand on top, it's, it's a lot smaller than an ATX model. So with an ATX model, you could never get this case so small with the power supply integrated in there. Okay, you look different mm. all of a sudden. Oh, you're done? I'm, yeah, I, I was interrupted mm. by you. <laughs> ah, I see, I see, I see. That, okay, first of all, Mike, I gotta say, you look surreal. It's, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you look so real. <laughs> all right, so I guess you guys have already guessed it, what feature I was going to talk about, about the Trident X, because this is also a VR-ready PC. So if you really enjoy putting the thing on your head to play some VR, you know, hey, you have the right address. You're not going to miss that. Did you ever play Beat Saber? Oh, I actually didn't play it. I watched it. That is so hard. I yeah. tried it, but <laughs> it's super fast. You have different levels, of course. So I tried one of the harder levels and it was impossible for me. <laughs> so you didn't really get far? No. I think oh, it well. like 10 seconds and I you can't, you can't, <laughs> I you, can't be, you can't be good at every game. Okay, this is really awkward because I'm looking at you, but I'm not actually looking at you. So. <clears throat> hey, Jai, you're back. Yes. <laughs> I mean, the VR helmet or glasses, however you want to call it, it's like so much broader than the Trident X itself, but that's, yeah. <clears throat> so that's for the VR. 
So this is an HTC Vive, but it will also work mm -hmm. with Oculus Rift, of course. Yeah, so if we go to the D2Cam, we can show you that right here, you can find the VR link that you can put in VR ready. That's uh let me get this, well, I can get this closer, so you might have to come to me. Just show you, you know, what else you can find on the backside and to show you just how compact everything actually is. So here we have the vertically integrated uh, graphics card. That's this part uh, here actually. And we have some extra room here for you to do some other upgrades uh, and to allow even more air. And here we have the inter user interface, uh, the regular <coughs> USBs, you know, the LANs. We have uh, USB Type-C here. Let me just lift this. There yeah. we go. <laughs> so that's um, USB 3.1 Gen 2 and both a Type-A and Type-C port there. Yeah, exactly. And as you can see that it has display connectors, but we block them on purpose so you don't use the wrong connectors. Exactly, it's because there, there actually have been cases that people have like huge and uh, great performing GPUs and then they yeah. plug in their uh, display port or HDMI cables onto the motherboard and then they're like why is why is this happening I don't understand <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah, because yeah, they will you're use not, your integrated graphics you're not gonna have you're not gonna have a good time to do that so to make sure you know because some people really don't know much about gaming at all but they just want to game of course that's nothing wrong with that so to make sure that they don't plug it into the wrong plug-in, they plug this in. All right. <coughs> so furthermore, we will have some software demonstrations for you. It's getting really hot in here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we so turn off the air go, guys, so that's why. <clears throat> and we will show you later on why we did that. <laughs> see if we have some more questions. How many, Christopher Ferguson is asking how many USB ports. Let me just quickly count. <laughs> there's five. There is more. There's one, two, three, four. So five type A on the back. Then yeah. you also have the type C, so that's six. Yeah, okay, and the then on, on the front, C. so I'm in the there. I'm in the regular ones. We also have two Type A and one Type C. So in total, you will get nine. There we go. All right. So let's do some software demonstrations because those are also the software that you'll be getting on the other models. But I'll be demonstrating them on the Trident X. So first of all, Dragon Center. Well, depending on depending on what models you get or models you got, uh, it might be called different or it might look different. It will act a bit differently too, because um, <clears throat> this one here is called Dragon Center, but it can be that you have a gaming center or a command center on your other models. But generally, the newer and the higher end tiers uh, they will come with the Dragon Center. And what this actually is do is that it's an, sort of like an all-round, uh, everything put together uh, software. Welcome back, Savage. Welcome <laughs> back, Savage. <laughs> so the Dragon Center, what it as a, in essence does is that it will make sure that your gaming experience will be optimal software-wise. So it will take care of you know all the small obstacles or the big obstacles and make sure that your PC is well optimized for your gaming sessions. And my favorite one, before I dive into the options here, is that my favorite one is this button right here, the G. You can, can you guess what the G stands for? Gleam for the giveaway. Yes, giveaway, register. You can win Steam codes, don't Go forget. Go to msi.com slash two slash insider. Exactly, but. And I will just post the link again in chat for the people who cannot see right. anything. So for those of you uh, who try to guess what the G stands for, it stands for gaming. So if you click on G, one click, it will start to optimize your system and you're ready to go. So it will do the, it will do the system uh, optimization. It will even optimize your monitor settings <coughs> to find the, the best setting for, game, for your gaming sessions. And it will also uh, optimize the uh, overclock mode wherever possible depending on your model also of course so it can be the gpu uh, optimization or some ram optimization 
So with one click, you're good to go, and uh, your system is very well optimized for your gaming sessions. I have a question in chat. Will the new Trident 3 support RTX cards and i9 series processors? Why do people like to skip ahead? I wonder. But to answer to your question, to answer your question, yes, the new Trident 3 will actually support RTX cards and i9 processors. More of that later. Okay. All right, back to the app. So you have the one-click optimization button right here, and then you know you have a lot more options. You can go for the performance. You can click on some presets. You can even set up your own profile. And sometimes you would just want the PC to idle and do nothing and just want it to be very silent, you can click on silent. You can set up your own profile here. Uh, it will also give you the essential information. You can click on this little uh, settings button and you can choose the different settings. You can uh, choose, for example, on or off MSI fast boost. You can regulate the voltage and so whatever you want to regulate right here, you can uh, save it. And they'll become your profile one and then apply and voila that'll be it so that's for the performance part so that's one section and then you can also go for hardware monitoring so if you prefer to have some hardware information always uh, on the foreground you can uh, come here and just put on the hardware monitoring sessions i personally always do this to really monitoring because well actually you you will have to have that kind of affection for hardware I think to really know you know what's my hardware doing all the time <laughs> but yeah that's so really to keep track of it yeah and you can also personalize this yeah you can also personalize this so here you can see all the red yeah circles uh, sort of you can either click them or to check them or uncheck them and then click on apply and you can see this will change accordingly so you can personalize them or just select all or just do whatever it is you like and uh, so let's go back <clears throat> so obviously you're going to be gaming and most of you will be gaming a lot so not just for like 30 minutes and in order to protect your eyes uh, we even have implemented like eye rest in uh, dragon center and in eye rest you can actually do a lot more than just eye rest so you can choose for eye rest and if you don't want to eye rest anymore you can go for you know some game modes that we have already pre uh, preset for you and you can even customize everything to your liking we have so, so many questions in between oh jeez let's answer a couple uh Sir Rich was talking about if we're going to play any new games Please let us know if you have any suggestions for that. We're always looking for new games to play. Um, let me see. Simon oh, is asking, will you get free giveaway games when you are buying the Trident X uh, with the new RTX cards? Um, make sure to check our website. There you can also find our promotions. Like with, with different products, there are different promotions running. So take a close look at that. And there are always promotions running. Um, then... How do I pronounce that? Hey, hey Ross Chen Where? is asking, does that uh, ah. ARGB fans and uh, all-in-one cooler will release? Um, they're currently <laughs> only uh, used in our desktops. They're not yeah. uh, available separately <clears throat> so far. So far, yeah. So not yet, but who knows? Maybe in the future. Yeah. If you guys like it and uh, there's... Uh, exactly. Give us feedback. We'll, yeah. Then we'll know what to do. We'll definitely take a look at that. Um, Luke XI is asking, what ATX motherboard is good for AMD Ryzen 7 2700X? Man, chat is going so fast. Um, Calm down, guys. Yeah, Ryzen 7 2700X. Also, first, depends what size you want. Um, also, Ryzen 7 2700X. I would also personally take a look at the, the like Ryzen 7. I would look at X470, uh, because you're going higher end, so then X470 is the most logical mm -hmm. choice. And then yeah, Game yeah, Pro also, Carbon is also really it nice. It also depends a bit on, you know, if they want to overclock, right? Just yeah, but on AMD, you can also do overclocking. Yeah, but I mean, 50, I mean choosing the motherboard wise. Yeah, that's true. So, so if, if you want to use it on stock, um, then a more basic model will be fine. If you want to overclock it, make sure to pick a model with a stronger uh, power delivery, like Game Pro Carbon, for example. Yeah. Um, mm. Let me see. Server is saying, uh, do you just have live streams uh, only for gaming with nothing hardware related? I'm talking about those kind of live streams. Um, we might have another gameplay live stream. Not sure if we have any on the planning right now. At the moment, for the coming weeks, not really. 
But we can always uh, take a look into it. Exactly. And if people prefer yeah. that, you know, you'll always let us know and then uh, we'll know what to give you. <laughs> yeah, and please let us know which games you would like to see also. Exactly. So we'll definitely discuss that. <clears throat> Uh, Crystal well, for there even more say, questions. Yeah, no, this is this is a compliment. The layout of Dragon Center looks really nice and smooth. No, it's it's not it's not a it's not a replacement. Oh, for it's, Afterburner, yeah, it does yeah. It replace After. No, Afterburner is really it's more really focused on graphics cards. Different. It's a lot more advanced yeah. and in depth focus on overclocking. This is more like and specifically the CPU. Dragon Center is more the whole system, yeah. and uh, Afterburner <coughs> is really if you want to do specific things with your GPU, yeah. like also change your core clocks or your uh, memory clocks, changing the voltage, changing the the fan curve stuff like that. You can exactly. all do that in uh, Afterburner. So this this is more like a CPU control with some other optimizations around it, but it's by far not as in depth as the uh, Afterburner and not as uh, well brought. Let's put yeah. it that way. Mike Buyakasha is also asking: Are there any USB 3.1 drivers on the support page? That's actually a feature that we that is included into Dragon Center, where you can uh, actually boost, boost the performance yeah, of your show USB. You later. So we will show that later. Yeah. So uh, before that, let me just go to the last one, uh, Lanzo. I think a lot of uh, a lot of us are playing online competitive games right now nowadays. You know, with all you are being bombarded with all the competitive online games. <laughs> So you gotta really make sure that your internet connection, your LAN is working at its best for your gaming experience. And uh, you know, for that we also have implemented Gaming LAN Manager, where you can just uh, have a lot of all the settings that you can choose and look at. And uh, for example, here you can prioritize uh, what uh, app or what games uh, has the highest priority in your LAN traffic. So for example, here uh, we have the Epic Games Launcher open. So if I want to play some games on there, I'm going to set this at higher. So that's the highest in the settings menu. You're so already get you get a game suggestion. Anthem. Oh. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Anthem. Haven't played it yet, but uh, could be a good idea for stream. <clears throat> Always wanted to try it out. So We're going to look into Anthem. Yeah. Uh, so here you can prioritize all the apps that are open or uh, games, whatever it is you like, and give them the priority of the LAN traffic. Uh, we can use also go to the presets here. You can even customize it. And if you can, if you want to, just you know take a look at you know hey what's using uh, a lot of of the LAN traffic right now or whatever. You can also just go to usage and you will have a list of the stuff. Uh, you can go to more details into application usage or just total uh, total usage. You can even do some network testing and uh, control your bandwidth. And if that's not even enough, there is even advanced settings where you can go into depth. But I think majority of us won't be looking at this. I much. think managing your bandwidth can be extremely useful, especially if you want to do yeah, uh, so, uh, different uh, things here, simultaneously in the network test. Uh, and then we have some other information regarding, you know, what kind of connections are currently uh, on board. You can do some Wi-Fi analysis. So uh, it's really very well decorated with a lot yeah. of the functions and features that you can look at and uh, tune. So you can you can get you get an idea. The context here is really, you know, to give you the optimal gaming experience. We're getting a really good question in chat right now. But can it run a Minesweeper in 4K resolution? <laughs> Jesus. And this is getting serious, like Minesweeper. <laughs> oh, Jesus, asking the like, real tough questions. Yeah. You will be fine in Battlefield and stuff, yeah. but like Minesweeper? That's a whole different story. Oh, we, I can't we, imagine. We have to I test that tomorrow. I really can't imagine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. <laughs> we really gotta test it out. You know, I'm surprised nobody has asked, but can it run Crisis? But, yeah. So uh, Mike already touched on this. Uh, you know, it's already implemented here. You can do uh, if you go to this little window setting here, you can do some uh, optimization of the USB boost. So you can click on on, and then you actually boost up your, your USB speed. And same wise for storage. And uh, we also have the supercharger function. There you can just uh, well, the name says it already. Supercharger, so you're gonna charge super fast. <laughs> so that's uh, really easy to remember. And that's also very useful for today's devices, today's smartphones, exactly. tablets. Exactly, they're all... They require more power than and power. they used to a couple of years ago. So you really, if you want to charge it, mm. 
Yeah. So, uh, like I said, uh, depending on you know what kind of model you got or, or going to get or what year it was from or what configuration, it's gonna differ. So it's not always called Dragon Center. It could be even be called Gaming Center or Command Center, but it comes down to the same essence, but with a bit different uh, kind of interface. So that was Dragon Center, and if you have any questions, uh, just post them in the chat. And if not, well, we'll be uh, moving on to the next software demonstration. And perhaps we can even draw a second winner. I think that's always a good idea. Yeah, so Let if Mike can, rise my, if Mike can put this up, <laughs> I will remind everybody again. Let me just open So, for those of you again. who just joined and don't know what we're talking about, we're giving away multiple Steam uh, codes. $20 Steam codes. So if you go to msi.com, also you can just look at the banner, uh, slash two slash insider. You can like all the, all the stuff there. Uh, the more you like, the more chance you have at winning. So if you haven't done this already, please go do it. And if you can't, or if the link doesn't work for you on the, on the page, uh, you can just look in the chat because I think Mike also pasted the link directly yeah, I'll there. I'll post it again right away. Yeah, so you can, if it doesn't work for you, just go to this link in the chat and you'll also be fine. And we have another winner. And we have another winner. So our next winner is? Jay de Graaf. That also sounds Dutch. Like, are there uh, only yeah. Dutch people watching today? Everybody is <laughs> Dutch in the chat or... <laughs> Let me just we rarely see, we, we rarely see this. But, um... Usually I have a lot more go, trouble guys. pronouncing the winners. Yeah, congratulations, J. De Graaf. And I hope you get something nice in Steam with this $20, $20 gift code. And for those of you who hasn't joined, please go do so right now. Yeah. And uh, later we'll be drawing the next winner. All right, so let's go to Mystic Light. So I've already briefly explained what Mystic Light actually is. So you can also see here, for those of you who joined, what you're seeing here, the colorful little circle in the front. It's our Mystic Light, so it's an RGB software feature that shows a lot of the different effects that you uh, can select in this app that I'm showing you right now, or you can even download your own mobile app to control this. So for example, uh, let me show you this how this software works. So it's actually our, also our own little ecosystem. So you can uh, recognize and connect and sync all the peripherals with each other. Uh, that's also what's being shown here on the software page, on the overview. So here, I, uh, for example, click on the desktop icon, then you can show it recognizes the Trident X. So the Trident X is shown here with the lighting effect, I guess, uh, here. And yeah, it's like the high lightning. So uh, if I click on apply, see, it changed right up to lightning. <coughs> And if you doesn't like, if you don't like lightning, you know, you can just go through uh, three pages of already pre-made presets, uh, rainbow or whatever it is you like. You can choose um, to just apply. And something else that's really nice is that you can actually link or sync one part with another. So say if you want to sync the Trident X with uh, our gaming keyboard right here. Uh, let me just put this uh, I will where just I can put it. see it. Let me. <clears throat> yeah. So if I move this around a bit and put this here, shall I pick it up so people can see the light? Yeah, that works too. If I move this a bit, wait. <coughs> yes. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. So let me first just go to the overview. So in go. the overview, uh, if you just give them a brief look of the overview, they can see. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, there we go. So here in the overview, you see that it actually recognizes everything that's uh, right now that's here. We have the gaming mouse, uh, the keyboard, monitor. And if you want to sync everything, link everything together, and you don't want to click them individually like this, you can just click on this right here. So it will just sync, well, link everything together. And if you select, for example, say, briefing, and you click on apply. Then Let me just go full screen so we can see what happened. Yeah, well, the lighting. Let me turn turn on lighting a bit for you guys to see you. So we can see you better. Yeah. So everything is now synced together, but uh, let me choose a different one to show you even better. So now I've chosen rainbow. So now you see everything is synced 
together in the same sequence, cycling through rainbow. The reason you cannot see the green in there is because of the green screen that we're using. Yes, the chroma obviously key this is, is making not a real background. <laughs> so the, yeah, it's, it's making it a little bit grayish. Exactly. But usually that's green. <laughs> so that's uh, Mystic Light. So you can either, you know, just change everything individually. I think we can put this back now. Oh. Oh. I shouldn't destroy it. We already have Eric for destroying <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yes. So here we have our beautiful Viger GA GK80 with a brush metal look and of course Mystic Light. That's nicely synced into this little ecosystem. Now actually we have even third parties that uh, that's uh, that also works with the ecosystem of Mystic Light, right? Mm -hmm. And more yeah. on that, Mike is going to be uh, diving into more details later, later, later in the live streams. Planning. I will show you a lot of different stuff yes. working with, so uh, in a while, with Mystic Light. Tune in a lot of the, a lot of RGB streams. like full unicorn live stream. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't even think you're gonna need any light. <laughs> I might okay. just turn it off. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, this software is really easy to use. Uh, it's, the user interface is very uh, easy and efficient. Uh, you can just yeah sync, link together or separately. It's very intuitive. No, so that's how Mystic Light works. So I hope you guys understand. Uh, if you have any questions, just post them in the chat. The chat is going quite well, I think. Okay, so that was Mystic Light. Now, we're going to move into a very interesting part because um, I did touch on, you know, what Silent Storm Cooling uh, actually is. And uh, well, we guess that you know by showing you what it is and what, how it actually works, it's a lot better than just talk about it, right? So let me just unplug everything. Wait, <clears throat> I turn it off by accident. <laughs> I think if you want to show silent yes. storm cooling, then you might want to turn it off. Exactly. <laughs> no, that was uh, a, that was a full on dirt mode. Lukax is asking, do you guys have white hardware? That's my color scheme so we actually have very nice like we don't have and an, no it's not really uh, fully white um but no. it's more like grayish silverish yeah like the current also the current generation graphics yeah. cards they're more like the gunmetal gray i think that's like really trendy nowadays the the gunmetal and the gray yeah. and the dark grayish look yeah also the high-end motherboards nowadays our models are also the gunmetal gray kind of look so we also also try to match that with our higher end graphics card. Yes. <coughs> All right. So I'm um, just going to so um, back on. Yeah. Don't switch yeah. it off now. No, 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 no. We're gonna need this bad boy on. <coughs> so I'm just gonna putting on some software to. So you're going uh, to do some stress testing. Why is that? Well, first of all. To show you how silent storm cooling really works, uh, we'll need this, the fans to start spinning. Yeah, because as you can see right now, the fans on the graphics cards, because the card is an idle, they yeah. will shut down completely to eliminate any noise. Yeah, so like I said already, guys, uh, this is our gaming Z series RTX 2070. Don't don't worry because no, this will not be in the standard configuration of the Trident X because we only use this uh, for today's demonstration purposes. So please remember that, but it is really beautiful to look at. <clears throat> Alright, so I think the fans are starting to spin. That's good. Spin, spin. I'm okay, now spinners. the fans of the graphics cards are also on. Yes. Is the power supply still off, I think? Yes, uh, the power supply yeah. takes a bit to uh, really, you know, take in, you know, yeah. the power. So intake. that's all. Um, they all just switch off when they're not they don't need to spin so also goes mm -hmm. for the for the power supply and the graphics card yeah I think that's uh, you know a really smart uh, feature to say that you know whenever it's yeah. idling or not doing so super hard work you can have lower noise you can have lower uh, power consumption so I think power supply fans still off oh yeah you can just see it <laughs> Well, these two bad boys are really busy so right now. So you really have to stretch your PC quite yeah. hard to even make the fans Okay, spin. so then just give you an introduction. Well, not introduction. Just give an explanation about what we're going to do is that... Uh, don't worry, nothing dangerous. Nobody's going to die. Well, we might we, we might cause fire, but hey. Anything for you. 
Um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to uh, blow uh, some smokes into say the GPU and the power supply section and then we'll turn it around to show you the GPU side because because each is actually separated into its own chamber so like I explained silent from cooling it will separate the, uh, the inside of the of the case into three sections three chambers so the GPU chamber right here this PSU chamber right here and then on the other side we have the, the CPU chamber yeah. yes so then we'll blow start geez it's still not spinning so we'll blow some uh, some smokes into the did you put up enough chambers. stress testing there oh yes <laughs> oh yes uh, then it it's already at 71 range. degrees oh, okay well yes uh, so yeah so the different chambers and then we'll turn it around to show you okay if we blow some uh, smokes in there where will it take the air in so where's the air inflow and where will it come out so it's not like in a regular case you will have one space and then just some uh, some random say uh, air outflow outputs so you have the back side on the upside and that's it so if you have some air intake you will just mm -hmm. go everywhere in the case and everywhere out of the case here we have some separation so if you blow air here you will see that we come out at a specific direction because and that's it will go directly region. out of the case yes. so we cannot now it's heat blowing. up other so now we can show you yeah the fan finally started mm -hmm. spinning yes <laughs> so for this we actually got a smoker smoke machine especially just to demonstrate to you guys how does it really work so let me f let me just first start with uh, the GPU chamber here Turn it around a bit even more. With the chroma key, it will be a little bit hard to see the smoke. So I will just have some black cloth behind it so you can see where the smoke goes. Yeah, so pay attention. Here is where the smoke will go in and take a look at where the smoke will come out. You'll see that right away it will blow out at the top. And a bit at the exhaust on the back. Here, because that's still one chamber right here so but you will go out nowhere else so yeah. that's the GPU chamber air outflow here and air outflow here and this is the only air inflow part so that's one chamber and so then the hot air from the GPU it cannot reach the CPU for example yes you know. so that's the whole point and here we have the power supply so <clears throat> take a look at what happens if I blow air or, or smoke in the power supply let me just get this a little bit closer yeah. by is it spinning it actually it's not spinning <laughs> it stopped spinning again <laughs> you're not stressing it enough <laughs> it was just blowing well make it work harder <laughs> let's stress it even harder then Quite a nice small machine, actually. Uno small momento, machine. my friends. Test. Mm. Let's just hope we don't activate the sprinklers in the office. <laughs> Make actually, it work. We, we, we took care of that. You know, safety first. <laughs> <laughs> It's so power efficient, it seems. Even the full load. Yeah. <laughs> I think right, it but, also <coughs> okay. So you put in an RTX me, 2070, and usually it comes with a 2080 or 2080 yes. Ti. So in the meanwhile, <laughs> while we're uh, waiting for this to uh, for the power supply to spin, let's turn it around to show you the GPU side and how it works. A fan that does spin. Let me just get the right camera. Yes. So, pay attention to where the air, where the smoke will actually come out. <laughs> Massive attack is saying, Mom, my PC is burning. <laughs> Let me clear this up and then show you again. Here it comes. So, 
So I hope you could see it well because for us it was, it was pretty clear. Um, the air will come in here and then it will go out underneath it and also on the back. So up to here, that's also one chamber. I'm just show you again. So you can see underneath it, that's where it comes out. And if you point the camera here, then they can see that here is also where the smoke will come out. Yeah, so that's, that's enough. Okay. So that's the CPU chamber. There we go. So did you manage to get the power supply fan spin? Let's see. No, nope, it's still in passive mode. <laughs> I'm stressing harder. Oh, Bo boot up five games simultaneously. <laughs> All right. If wants, he wants to play the hard way, huh? All right, let's go. <laughs> you can't go hard. We can go hard. So this is how good the passive mode of the power supply actually is. We cannot even get the fans <laughs> to spin. It did spin for a short while, and then it was cold enough apparently to switch off again yeah it was just like no. so it all automatically regulates that based on the temperature of the power supply nothing to do here it's too easy for the power supply but uh, we wonder you know do, did you guys really uh, see you know what happens uh, if we blow, uh, blew in the air like or the smoke and was it like clear for you where it came out Mm, let me see what can we open here. I hope it was possible to see the smoke on camera properly. I'm not sure. Yeah. And remember, if you haven't registered for the giveaway, please go do so. Because before you know it, we'll be drawing our next winner. So make sure to sign up now because that won't take long. I will also post it again in chat. And I will also post a link to the Infinite X. So if you want more information about the system. The Trident X. Or the uh, Trident X, I'm sorry. Infinite X will be later on. You know what, Mike? I think I'm just gonna give up. You cannot get the fan to spin? <laughs> no. <laughs> I know a solution for that. You should upgrade the GPU and make it work harder. Because now it only has an RTX 2070 in there. We can do that and then we can come back. I think with the 2080 Ti, we should be able to make it spin. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, guys, since it was part of the plan anyways. So now uh, I'll be showing you a bit about, you know, how to upgrade this little guy right here. <clears throat> so let's make sure, okay, when we're trying to upgrade or change exponents, guys, what's important? Unplug your PC. Unplug everything. <laughs> Like, don't do that if you're, We're especially safe. not if your PC is switched on. <laughs> not a good idea. <laughs> Cannot recommend. You know, doing this smoke test, I felt like we were like Mistbusters or something. It's a cool demonstration, I think. Yeah. Alright, All right. for this, maybe I can also use that smoke machine for the Mystic Light livestream. Yeah. I think that could give some cool effects. Okay, so. We're going to get the Trident X back into its original glory with the 2080 Ti. So this is from our Fentus lineup, the Fentus 2080 Ti. And this is also what was originally in the case, but we swapped it out for, you know, this specific demonstration. And that didn't really work because this graphics card was not, was not stressing the, Jeep, uh, the PSU hard enough to make the fan spin. Or it's too power efficient. Yes. So you heard me right. This is a 2080 Ti. All right. Let's open it up. 
So I saw what you did when trying to build the other PC. Are you sure you won't cause any smoke now? Shh. <laughs> I think majority of the people didn't even see it that's watching right now. So <laughs> nothing happened, no accidents. And I'm pretty sure I can handle this. All right? Okay, because we don't want any smoke without the smoke machine. Yeah. So here we have the GPU side panel. So obviously we're gonna take this off first. Few screws. They have to take out first. And then you get to see the glorious insight of how we have managed to put everything into such a small space. So far so good, no smoke. I'll just collect the screws because I know you always lose screws on stream. <laughs> it's just happened a few times, it's okay. <laughs> so, got rid of all the screws, and then you can just slide it off. That's it, let me just put this on the side. So you only have to take out four screws and then you can... Yeah, four screws and you have the back side open. So, here you can also see a clear separation. Right? So up here, Separation that's the really yeah. the GPU chamber. So like we demonstrated before, the air will go up here and will also go out here on the side, like all in the same chamber space. So here we have the magnificent Gaming Z RTX 2070. I think Peter showed this in details in his live streams already. So uh, let me just continue to swap this bad boy out. Now, this is obviously also vertically integrated. So that's why it fits so nice in such a small case. In order to take it out, obviously you have to open the upper part too. And uh, They're supporting you in chat. Samu Zero is saying, take out the technician you have inside. <laughs> Lukaxi is asking, but does, uh, does it have Wi-Fi? Yeah, it also has Wi-Fi. Yes, of course. Oh yes, let me show you just, uh, so since I already take off the, uh, take out, I've already taken out the screws, this upper part is really easy to disassemble. All you have to do is give a little push backwards and voila. And Lukex is asking, what armor GPU do you recommend? Armor GPU? I think that well, it depends 2070 on... armor, it's a really cool card. Yeah, but it also depends. So first you got to tell us, you know, yeah. what do you want from your game? What do you want from your graphics? What FPS do you feature? want? Yeah. What, what resolution are you playing on? Then we can give you a proper recommendation. So here we have the power cables. So obviously take this out first and then I will show you how to take out the card. I was wondering why is this uh, warm? Maybe uh, because obviously you because we're stressing. Stress testing it. Yeah. <laughs> So the cables are loose now and something that people usually tend to forget is that uh, well, we can't really see it here but every PC, P, uh, PCIe slot will have its own little click, how do you call small that, hinge right? There. Yeah, like small hinge they have to click but I can't really show you here because I think it's so dark but... Wait, I have a light on my mobile phone. Alright. And maybe... So let me see, I can't see this myself first. Okay, here. So here we have a little black can we? hinge. Okay, and then you can really see it. <laughs> it's super hard. No. Okay. Can you tilt it a little bit? Wait, let me just take this out and I can show yeah, this. Yeah, it's easier yeah. if it's hard. So let me just first press on the hinge. And then you can, okay, the hinge is loose. And then of course, take out the screws that's on the, Graphics card. Mike, keep track of it. Yeah. Oh, we got all the screws. So we have two more screws that's keeping the uh, graphics card in place. I was saying at least 240 FPS in full HD on Fortnite. Fortnite? Uh, I have to do the hinge again. How demanding is Fortnite? I'm not sure. I think 240. Fortnite is. It's okay, it's not that demanding. So 240 should be doable with 2070. Uh, if he also has a great CPU, because yeah. that's also quite CPU intensive, then definitely. All right. So the card is out now. So now let me see. We can see the hinge. <laughs> <laughs> to make sure you know you have the optimum quality here, we have even enforced the PCIe slot, so it's still armored. 
and the hinge what I was talking about is actually just this hinge so before you take out the feeder card always make press sure it down. press it down so if you can reach it make sure you grab something to reach it and not damage everything else around it be careful so that's it you have taken out the graphics card and well, we have decided to open anyways, on the back side of the motherboard here, we have actually also implemented M.2 slot. So, wherever you want to uh, upgrade this part, open the back side, swap this out, unscrew it, swap a new one in, and you're good to go. It's that easy, because we have obviously cut out this place for you to upgrade it. And here we have the power supply chamber, separated. The power supply that is impossible to stress. <laughs> <laughs> awesome quality. <laughs> and also here on the top in the in the uh, GPU part, you have enough clearance to put in larger cards. Yeah. Because for example, this card that we just took out, it's, it's slightly higher than than where do you have the fan test, the twenty yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if you put this back to back. Yeah, you can see that, like, let, just like this. Now they're on the same height. You can see the. Uh, 27 RTX 2070 Gaming Z is uh, it's quite a lot higher than the Ventus. So in the GPU chamber, you still have enough clearance to put that in. <coughs> yes. So while we have this bad boy open, uh, before I swap in the new video card, well, the original graphics card, shall I say? Likiel is asking, is this yes. live? Yes, this is live. Hello, welcome to the stream. Ask us something, make us do something. You know it's live. We can't <laughs> fake it. All right, so uh, while we're at it, let's open the other side just to show you, okay, what can you do here? What can you really upgrade? So obviously here, this part is the CPU fan cooler. Uh, if you take this out, you can swap out the CPU. And if you want some extra storage or you want to replace the old storage because of your uh, needs or the future needs, here we have the 2.5 uh, inch brackets for you to uh, use. So here we can, we already have something plugged in and we have an empty slot right yeah. here. So, uh, so right now I think there's a hard drive installed Yeah. and here you have space for another, either a two and a half inch hard drive yeah. or an SSD. So then first you just screw this screws off and then the rest is just so easy that you cannot go wrong. And then just put it back and uh, you're good to go. And this was the <coughs> PSU the Mike was talking about. So not a regular ATX sized, uh, PSU. SFX. So you can see compared to my hand it's also relatively smaller. And as you can see on top it's also modular. Yeah. And look at this cable management. Did you do that? No, if I do this then this thing will be, wouldn't be standing. <laughs> okay, so go back to what we were doing originally. Putting back the Fentus 2080 Ti. Now we're going from RTX 2070 to 2080 Ti. So that's a fair upgrade. Right. So make sure you align the PCIe slot with, well, I can't really see it, but with the graphics card. Okay. So now it's aligned and you just give a gentle push until you hear a click. And that's the hinge clicking into position. And next thing to make sure it doesn't really move around. Um, the screws, I still have all of them. Screw on the graphics card. And in this case, it's really, it's something small, but it's something really, really useful. It's going to make your experience a lot more better if you have a screwdriver that has a magne magnetic uh, attraction. Yeah. So the screw doesn't just fall in there and will never be found again. Be careful with that. Like exactly. So now the screw, uh, now the screw is in, so it can it can really move anymore. Plug in the power supplies. And you're almost done. I think this requires the same time as when you're trying to uh, upgrade or uh, regulate a regular mid tower or full tower sized case. Now we have to turn it around. Okay. So, two power plugs right there? Yep. So uh, the 2080 Ti, it's uh, going to require some relatively more power compared to the lower tiers. So it offers two 8-pin power connectors. Yeah. But if your this graphics one, card has only 6-pin, you can easily separate two of the pins so it will be a 6-pin. 
So everything is set, done. And as you can see, there's still some room left <coughs> because the graphics card gets really hot. So this will also make sure there is more air and more room to breathe. And also when you're doing upgrades, if you get graphics card that are higher, you still have some space here. All right, so it's all plugged in. And now we're done with this and we have to reassemble everything again. <laughs> I am Mr. P has been watching the news. What is He's it? saying bulletproof is a monitor. <laughs> you are really well on track with the news part. Yeah, so for the ones who don't know what we're talking about, I think there was someone in the United States. Yeah, yeah. And there was a shooting. There was a random shooting in the uh, yeah, street. I think a, a, a bullet entered his house through the wall and into the back of his MSI monitor and it actually blocked the bullet there and the monitor was still working. Yeah, so it I was think still it, working. I think it went in on the back but didn't come out on the front. So, uh... Look up the pictures online, it's pretty interesting. Yeah, I think we even offered to uh, give him a new monitor, yeah. right? Our uh, colleagues from the USA, they shipped him a new monitor. Well, you don't, uh, you don't see that every day, I guess. No, I think that's something you don't want to see every day either. <laughs> but luckily, you know, here we also don't really see a lot of guns, so that's also good. Uh, well, this is really Nicky Yun is asking, is there, a fan tunnel, is there a fan in the tunnel where the GPU is located? No, it uses the, the fans from the GPU to exhaust it on top. You can actually, if you look back the stream later on, we just demonstrated it with the smoke machine and you can really see where the air uh, gets sucked in and where the exhaust is. So, uh, all set? Yeah, all set. So Will I hope... smoke again when you switch it on? Yeah. So I hope you paid attention to the upgrading uh, part and when I explained, you know, where you can upgrade what. Because the same principles, the same concept will also apply to um, the other cases. Because we also use uh, sinusoidal cooling there. So each, uh, each component will also have its own place or chamber, so to speak. And even though some PCs, like for example the Trident 3s, are smaller in size, even smaller than this. You can uh, still easily get parts upgraded that you want. All right, so we try to do the smoke. Uh, Let's try if we can stress it enough now with the 2080 Ti. If, if we, we still can. can't, then uh, I'm gonna steal this power supply. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can stress it's the power gotta be, supply. It's, it's gotta to be one transfer. of a kind. All right, there we go. If this thing explodes when I push on the power button, it's your fault. You guys didn't see anything. <laughs> so it's working. actually working fine. It's working. I'm proud of you. It's working. No smoke. And I think you actually didn't lose any screws today. <clears throat> yeah, everything's <laughs> back into its place. First time. You can show more smoke <laughs> now. Ah, uh, come on, I'm learning. Look, you're just asking, what is the model number on that case? It's actually a full system, it's not just a case. Yeah, it's not a case. Actually, I think we have heard this more often that some people were like specifically asking, hey, do you also sell the Trident X like bare bone? It's also something we can look into, definitely. Yeah, I think if, uh, if it's really that popular, hey. Yeah, right now it's, uh, it's available, it. it's called the Trident X. And it comes with, uh, in different configurations, up to uh, Core i9-9900K and up to an RTX 2080 Ti. Yeah, graphic. so if you missed on just how big this is, it's only 10 liters. And it can house up to i9-9900K and 2080 Ti. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I think everything is gonna start blowing now. Okay, so let's see if we can let the PSU fan spin. I think we have to turn it a little bit towards the camera. Okay, so it's still standing still. Make it work. Uh, 
still not stressing right. enough with 2080 Ti? <clears throat> well, 2080 Ti is uh, prevailed to be uh, on a different kind of problem level. Did you, because you swapped out the graphics card, did you reboot the system? First thing you do when you swap a graphics card is make sure your computer recognizes the card, you install the correct drivers, <laughs> and you reboot the system. All right, guys, let's give it one more go. You didn't do that, huh? <laughs> let's give it one more go. <laughs> uh, David Wilson is asking, what motherboard is this? So, um, in this specific model, it's actually a slightly modified version of our uh, Z370i 370 370. Gaming Pro Carbon. So it deviates just a little bit from the original model, right? Yeah, there are some slight tweaks mm, specifically yeah, we, for this uh, model. Kind of customized it before yeah. the Triton X. Also, for example, for the Wi-Fi, like on the regular motherboard, you have two antennas on the back on the I/O panel. Yeah. Um, but here, it's actually integrated into the case, the antennas, to give you even better, better uh, Wi-Fi coverage. So that's, for example, a small adjustment that is made there. So Jar yeah, rebooted. Yeah, a great tip for you guys. So in the meanwhile, I will draw another winner. Is it that time again? Yeah, it's that time again. Guys, uh, if you're you not register, it, I will. We need more winners. So first, I will also put the link in chat again. So if you haven't participated yet, please do so. You can either go to msi.com slash two slash insider if you don't see the link there. I post a direct link uh, to the giveaway in the chat. You should be able to see it right now. And then our next winner is another Dutch is guy. If it's another Dutch guy, then I'm going to lose it. This is not a Dutch guy, I think. Ah, I see. <clears throat> so, up to you to pronounce this. Can I have like the first part of the name? You can have the second part. That's not a deal. <laughs> All right. So uh, congratulations, uh, Andrea. Good luck. Ta Tabacini. 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 Yeah. Or Tabacini. That sounds Italian. Tabacini. I th I'm pretty sure it's Italian. Right. So Andrea, uh, uh, let's just keep that Andrea. Andrea, congratulations. I hope Is you it find Andrea or Andrea. Oh, uh, please stop this. I cannot take this. Please. Go enjoy the Steam Congratulations. code. Congratulations, <laughs> you won a 20 US dollar Steam wallet yes, code. I hope Buy you something nice with it. Exactly, go for it. And the meanwhile... And please correct us on our pronunciation because yeah, my Italian is a little bit rusty. It's not the easiest... Uh, it's a cool language though, Italian. Uh, I think I'm gonna crank it up. Still haven't managed to get the fan spinning. I think the quality is just way too good. Uh, Merrick yep, is asking, you got something against Dutch. No, we're actually Dutch ourselves. <laughs> you are, but technically... Okay, technically, on, on paper... That's on your passport. Okay, on paper, yes, <laughs> I, I'm Dutch. But actually, I'm just a Taiwanese spy. Tum, tum, tum. <laughs> All right, so the GPU is already hitting 65 degrees. 66. Lukex is asking what CPU is in this system. CPU. Right now, the i7-9700K is in here. But remember, this bad boy can go all the way up to 9900K. Yeah, so both are 8-core processors, and the i7 doesn't have hyper-threading, mm. and the i9 has hyper-threading as well, mm. so you will have up to 16 threads. It's quite an interesting setup huh, from Intel, yeah. I must say. And can you explain this, like tech, tech, tech? Oh, 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 wait, wait, oh, oh, oh. yes, it's spinning! You, you made it spin? Yes, I was just about to complain, and then it started spinning. Yeah. All right, guys, let's go, let's go. It's spinning. It's so spinning. now be fast. So let's the special smoke machine that Eric okay, got. We for finally this. managed to stress the system hard enough to make the. Fan yeah. on the power supply spin. <clears throat> Alright, so we have already showed 
the GPU uh, chamber, the CPU chamber, and now we're going to show the PSU, the power, power supply chamber, just what exactly does it do when you put smoke in there to show you the air inflow and the air outflow. So pay attention. Let me get a different direction. Yeah. So let me just clear the air and show you again. Pay attention to here and right and here. here. Yeah. So that's the chamber from the power supply. <laughs> so, uh, I hope you guys could see it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Jeff. It wasn't. No, it's just. It's, it's just so much fun. <laughs> Uh, so I hope you guys could see the clarity, but um, so the air will be sucked in the, the chamber here and then it actually comes out on the front and down here. So that's the PSU chamber. So that's how we, with the silence from cooling, how we manage to separate the chambers and uh, make sure that we have the optimized heat dispersion. All right, so I we can think, finally uh, switch off all the stress testing. We can finally uh, put the Trident X to rest for now <laughs> I think it's worked hard enough <laughs> it's even got its insides taken in and out uh, I mean that can feel nice well I got some something <coughs> nice back inside so. yeah so that's the Trident X guys if you have more questions about the Trident X please ask them now because it's going off the desk but we have a lot more to show Exactly, so don't go away because this is only the first part of the lineup. Jonas Simonsen is saying, show GPU with smoke please. We actually already did, so make sure to watch back the stream if you have, yeah, if you have missed that part. Yeah, I hope you said that sooner or if we have seen it sooner. Yeah, but we, we, have, we have shown that, so yeah. make sure to re-watch the stream. It will be available on, uh, on yeah, Twitch actually, and right away, YouTube after, right away afterward. And you can definitely see how that goes with the smoke upwards. All right, so do you have some more space for this GPU right there? Oh, you already have a very nice system. Damn, that's a big boy. So first up, I mean the second up, our Infinite X. So this is from our Let Infinite series. <laughs> Last time we'll be showing this, we've been putting this away, the Gaming Z. All right, so this bad boy right here is like a regular sized mid tower uh, gaming desktop. Infinite X from our Infinite lineup. So this is the highest tier in the Infinite lineup. So we have in the Infinite, we have the Infinite, we have the Infinite S, Infinite A, and then we also have the Infinite X. So this is the highest. Now, just to briefly show you how this looks like, I will just briefly put in the power. And believe me, it looks cool. And show you how does it look like on the front, especially and on the side. Okay, guys. So we're done with smokes now. So if you see smokes from here on onwards, that was something, not the plan. No, yeah. some, something <laughs> went wrong. Uh, let me turn off the light a bit because it's really shiny in here. Shall I take off the glass panel in the meanwhile, so we can also show the internals? That's good. Because this system has some interesting CPU cooling. There we go. So I'll keep track of the screws again. Hmm. Good plan. There we are. I have to be careful with this because yeah. it's made of tempered glass, the side panel. So uh, let me first start with um, what kind of configurations or well, just how much power does it actually pack? So it also goes all the way up to i9, 9900K and 2080Ti. So it's kind of similar with the Trident X, uh, you know, uh, configuration wise, but this is like just the regular size badass instead of like packed into a 10 liter um, small form factor. 
So that's uh, for the setup. You can go down to uh, i7, 9700K or 2080, so non-TI version. But what's more interesting is just uh, what's actually in the case, right? And what's in front of the case. So let me touch upon that. Uh, first of all, um, I also said that uh, each model has its own unique uh, characteristics uh, besides the shared uh, unique features that, that I also showed before this. So here, first of all, uh, Mike uh, took off the tempered glass. <clears throat> so also the, the same story right here. here is that the Infinite X also comes with two side panels. So you have the regular full metal part uh, side panel. Uh, which is really great for traveling and uh, being shipped because uh, glass is a lot, a lot more easier to break. And when you are settled down, you can put on the tempered glass and just enjoy the beautiful insides. Um, so besides that, you can already see there is... Uh, okay, maybe we can turn this around yeah, let's to show, show them the even more. Closer up. So here, you can see there is no CPU cooler, so to speak. We have implemented our own custom-made liquid cooling. So the CQ is being liquid cooled. And this is actually part of the, let's say, Silent Storm Cooling Pro. So the Pro in Silent Storm Cooling will always, be, uh, will always mean that it comes with liquid cooling for the CPU. So this is part of the Silent Storm Cooling system. And here you can also see the separation of, of the, the chamber channels. for the Silent Storm Cooling for this specific case. And even though, hey, you guys may have seen that uh, the PC is on, but is the GPU broken? I don't think it's broken, right? No. No, because we have the zero froster technology and uh, you'll really prevent that uh, when your PC is kind of idling or not doing much, just uh, under a low workload, the fans will not spin. It'll save you energy, it will make uh, a lot like less noise. Like we just noise. saw on the PSU on the yeah. Trident X as so well. So <laughs> there's also a lot less noise. So don't think that this is broken, guys. This is our armor series, and it's absolutely not broken. Uh, yeah, let me just say, this is the armor 2070. And, um, okay, so where were we? I, so I explained to you the liquid cooling part. Uh, it's, uh, it's part of the unique features. And something else is that when you take a look at the outside, um, yeah, we can just go to the regular for this part. <clears throat> so Mike already said that you enjoy LAN parties and going do. to maybe friends' house to play games. Yeah. You know, for those kind of situations, and when maybe you have to move around, go to your dorm if you have a dorm, or go to your friends' house, whatever you have to carry the PC. You know, there's like a very nice little handle that will make it a lot easier, make your life a lot more easy to carry this around. So even though it's a bit bigger than a Trident X, yeah. it's still quite easy to carry. Exactly, so you don't have to really embrace this like it's your baby. Well, you still can if you love it that much, but you don't have to, there's a handle for that. All right, so you can see there are a lot of lighting in there. This is also part of our Mystic Light. And I already demonstrated what Mystic Light looks like. And if you have no idea, just post them in the chat anything that you want to know about our Mystic Light system. We'll try to uh, explain them again. <laughs> Jonas is saying, fence stop and idle is nothing new. Next feature. Uh, actually, a lot of people aren't yet aware of the fact that fence stop spinning. We actually had customers returning their graphics card because they thought the fence were broken, but they were just... The graphics card wasn't idle, so they were just not spinning. Or oh, never buy MSI again! <laughs> <laughs> so some people thought that their exactly. card was actually broken, but there was nothing wrong with it. Yeah, so uh, let's just say you are part of the smart section of the population. And, uh, okay, so I turn this around to show you on the front. Okay, on the main cam is a bit difficult, maybe here. You can see we have implemented our very iconic uh, pattern of Mystic Light right here. So it goes all the way from here to all the way down here to accompany, you know, the beautiful look on the outside. It's actually brighter than this, but because we still have lighting on, uh, it's not showing up that well. But also because it's a glossy finish. Finish. So we have the reflections of our yeah. lights. Here. And of course, the feature we also talked about: the vertically integrated graphics card. All right. Let's put this back. So, <clears throat> that's actually uh, for the Infinite X. 
Uh, if you guys have any more questions, uh, you can ask. Uh, so obviously, I already explained all the general features that we have on our desktops. So now I only go into uh, more details about what's unique about this case and specifically. And uh, if you have any more questions regarding this, please ask. Uh, the most important things to remember here is that this is the highest tier that we have. So if you want the yeah. utmost power, the best of the best, just go for an infinite X, check it out or something, and uh, you will be good to go. And the temper glass really just finishes off the unique look on the inside. <clears throat> All right, let's switch, switch back on the light. Yes, and then power this off before I burn anything. <laughs> In the meanwhile, if you haven't participated yet in the giveaway, go to msi.com slash to slash insider. You can still participate. The more actions you perform, um, the more points you get for the giveaway. So the bigger the chance uh, you have to win. And I will post a link again in chat. I will also post a link to the uh, Infinite X. If you want to learn more, you can go to the product page and take a look at it. Oh, you already have our next system. I'm still posting links. We're going too fast. I'm not saying anything. I'm just <laughs> giving them. You're, like, you're spoiling everything. I'm just giving them like. Okay. Uh, I've got a word. Oh. <laughs> That's actually a good one. <laughs> ah, appetizer. Yes, I'm just giving them an appetizer before the main course. <laughs> So that means we also have dessert. Of course we have dessert. Nice. Dessert is going to be the next act. People always say that dessert is the most important thing, but I like the main dish better. Yeah, so guys, don't worry if the, if the, if the giveaway link doesn't work for you. Mike's posting it directly in the chat. Check it out. And you still have time for the next giveaway, so don't forget to participate. And who knows, you're the next winner. And we are still not finished, so stay tuned in. Now, what do we have here? Um, the A whole Aegis. different design. Exactly. It's um, something else than what we have. Uh, it's something else than you know what you maybe what you're maybe used to than what we have showed you so far. And uh, I think they know about the giveaway now. I, I will. <laughs> All right. So take it away. the Aegis three. The Aegis is our lineup uh, with uh, different models. Uh, you have the Aegis 3, you have the Aegis Ti. So the Ti in this case is like the, uh, the utmost, the most powerful one in the yeah. Aegis lineup. So the same with the Infinite and then the Infinite X being the, uh, the most powerful lineup, uh, powerful model in the lineup. So here we have the Aegis 3. So the Ti First is also a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's, uh, Ti yeah. is like a full size tower. And you can even get it with two graphics cards in there. Yes, and the TI actually packs a lot of great features. But let me show you what's unique about this one. So this is the TI3, right? And I think the first thing that people are going to be like, uh, are going to be like aware of, are the ears. It's like they have, it has ears, right? Or horns, maybe. Yeah, or horns, or whatever you like to call it, a unicorn or a uh, bull. If it was a unicorn, it would be there. <laughs> But yeah, <clears throat> so this design is actually, uh, let me just briefly explain it. This part is actually, if you're familiar with our with MSI, you'll know the dragon is our thing, right? Where's Lucky? Ah, shit, never mind, Lucky's uh, too far away. But dragons are our thing. And we actually have uh, like a visual of the dragon, which has like this neck part that looks exactly like this. So this is actually supposed to be the, the re presentation of our dragon's neck part let's just call it that way and if I let me give this power so you can see what does the front side do because it's actually quite interesting where you plug in the power supply right there <laughs> there are no party parts anymore only this part <laughs> okay so uh, let me continue with uh, the ears. Uh, okay, so let me turn, turn this side. So why does it have ears? Do we have something? No, we don't. Okay, so the ear. You can think like, okay, hey, this looks like something that you can use. And some people might be saying, hey, maybe those are the Wi-Fi antennas. 
but they're not. So it's actually meant for a headphone. I think it's a, it's a small feature, it's a relatively small feature, but it has a lot of impact. I mean, at least for me personally, because uh, I usually just uh, grab my uh, headset and mm -hmm. whenever I don't need it, I'll just throw it around on my desk or whatever it is that I think, hey, that's a nice place for my headset. And then uh, maybe someone else in my house starts complaining, like, stop throwing your stuff around. So I, we actually also have this implemented in some of our monitors. And uh, here we have this specifically dedicated to headphones. So you can just put this. It's small enough actually to be on your desk. So you can just put it on your desk and uh, put your headphone here, whatever size it is that you like to have. Yeah, I think that's go. a big benefit actually, because some mm -hmm. people put their system on the left side of their monitor, yeah. other people put it on the right side. So it doesn't matter either way, you will have it at the, at the correct side. Exactly. And uh, so I just turned the PC on to show you what these parts are actually all about. This is also Mystic Light. Now, if you turn this on and then you choose a specific effect, it's gonna be beautiful. And the Mystic Light is also on the inside. And here we have the graphics card running, as you can see. <clears throat> now, the configuration of this uh, goes all the way up to uh, i9, I mean, sorry, <laughs> i7, 9700, non-K version. And GPU will all go away, uh, all the way up to uh, RTX 2070. So it's uh, it's like in between, you know, the lower, more lower tier uh, desktops and really the high tiers like the Trident X, you know, the Infinite X. It kind of sits like in between. So like I explained earlier, you know, some people doesn't require like best of the best. So you know, then it just you know it's, it can be perfect for your taste. And the, let me explain also why this looks a bit different than what you're used to because here it's actually being separated from let's say the upper body this is like the, the stand the feet and the power supply is also being plugged into here so this is this actually houses the power supply so you have the entire chamber here separated being dedicated to the power supply and then you have the chair the sinusorm separating this uh, GPU and the CPU chamber. So that's why the power plug actually goes in into the bottom there. Yeah, that's right yeah, there. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, just the bottom, there's nothing wrong with the bottom, <laughs> right? And uh, something else. Um, Maybe we can show the back as well. Yeah. So you can clearly Let's see. show you. <sighs> so here you can the see cable. the setup. Here we go. So once again, like I also said before, vertically integrated graphics card and motherboard right here and what you have also noticed is that here once again we have a handle for you to easily take this and carry this around wherever you need to go it's actually made of metal so it's very sturdy so take a good look guys and if you have any question please ask uh, we'll try to keep up with the chat Jonas Simonson is asking about the plans with Mystic Light software um, I'm actually going to do uh, a dedicated live stream about Mystic Light soon. So I will also show some new features there. So make sure to check it out. In a couple of weeks time, I will be uh, give you more details about that and really show you all the ins and outs of the, the new Mystic Light software. I'm, def I'm definitely, gonna, definitely gonna be tuned into that one. Good. Because I love RGB. <laughs> Yeah, really for those of you who really love RGB, go for it. <clears throat> um, so that's uh, going to be it for the Aegis. Uh, if you have any questions about the Aegis, please ask and we'll uh, get to the answers. And if not, I'm going to be putting this on the ground. So, let me... See what's let me... Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> I'll just look at it for it. Okay. So we have some more to show. Yeah. I still see stuff in your corner. <laughs> so, uh, some of you might have noticed we are slowly moving down the ladder of super ultra power to slightly more modest. So that was... But still impressively portable. So the Aegis is more like if you don't require... Actually a good question by David in the meanwhile. On the Aegis, what front panel connectors does it have? Oh. Well, 
We have two USB connectors there, the headphone we jack just, and the we'll mic. Just show that. Let's just show you right here. Oh. So you can see it properly here. The headphone and mic. And USB Type C for course, and the two USB uh, generation, uh, well, 3.1s. And there you have it. Now, the next one, I hope you guys pay a lot of attention because this is not actually supposed to be available yet. Well, it's available in very, very limited regions. But here you have a sneak peek of the Infinite S. The new Infinite S. You can see just how small this actually is, right? I really like this size. So you don't need handle for this. No. I can use two fingers and still you grab just it. Put it in your backpack and go. Yeah. So an Infinite S. Like the Trident X, it also has uh, 10 liters in volume. And <clears throat> what's also nice is that. Just like the Trident X, once again, it also has its own power supply built in. And uh, I'm not going to be going into more details. All I can tell you is that it will pack up 9th gen Intel processor and RTX graphics. Well, we can give a sneak peek on this side. Yes. You can see it a little bit through. And... Uh, ooh. Turn it around. Yeah. Ooh. For those of you who can guess what this is, you'll receive the graphics card. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, I'm not going into details about what, uh, what this is all about. Uh, and I've said what I can say. So, if you're really interested, uh, in a while, well, actually in two weeks time, I think, I'll be doing a dedicated live stream about this little bad boy right here. And show you exactly what he can do. Being only 10 liters in volume. And Wong is asking, is it heavy? Does it look heavy? Don't break it. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't drop it. <laughs> no, it's absolutely not heavy. It's about three, four kilos. So you really don't have to worry about it. It's like a toy. All right. It's a so fast toy, though. enjoy it, guys. And uh, see you next time. So that was all? Or do you have all. more? They're not going to get... Oh, no, 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 no. There's more, there's more, there's more. <laughs> Absolutely, there's more. There's no stopping Jan today. Yes. Are you leaving? Can I leave? No. All right. Because no. you said there was more. Okay. <laughs> fine. Actually, I was gonna run away with uh, what's in the bag. But since you stopped me, a notebook. You might think it's a notebook, but it's just a regular-sized backpack, guys. Like, see. But. There ain't no notebook in this. Try that. But I tried in three. So this is the Trident three Arctic version. So <laughs> you also already found some information about the Infinite S. <laughs> and we also have the black version right here. But okay, let me, let me just put it here. <clears throat> this is actually. Uh, uh, I don't want to ruin the surprise, but okay, this is going to be used later, but I'm not going to tell you for what yet. That's going to be good. But it doesn't matter because these two are the exact same model except for the color. So this exact configuration and everything else. The Trident 3. So you have already seen perhaps just how small this is. And if I try to carry it, you can see it's really small. You can really compare this to a regular, say, PS4 or just a console because this is really a console-sized gaming desktop. And you can actually position it like a console as well. Exactly. Like if you use it with your TV. So what makes it unique is that uh, it's actually, well, it's already standing on the stand. And you can also just take it off and place it actually like a console. Exactly. The main difference is that it's, th it's thousands times more powerful than a console. So this is absolutely not the FPS that you would get when you're using a console. It looks like a console, it can behave like a console, but it's just a thousand, a thousand times more, more powerful. powerful than a console. Because the Trident 3 will actually pack up the 9th gen Intel Core processor all the way up to 
97, uh, sorry, yes, 9700 and the non-K version. So remember, non-K. But whew, that's already something uh, <laughs> to really look forward to, in my opinion. But uh, and for GPU, you can get all the way up to RTX uh, 2060. So paired up with 9700. So how and do you fit a 2060 in such a small case? That's so brilliant. I think you will have to ask the engineers. So first of all, remember that I've mentioned uh, we make use of vertically, uh, vertically integrated graphics. So obviously you can imagine if we take this again, it's never going to fit horizontally. And secondly, because it's so small, it's such a small form factor uh, gaming PC, it makes use of an ITX sized graphic card, so our arrow line. So <clears throat> RTX 2060 and an ITX sized, but still have uh, the same power, the same bang. So that's how we fit it in this small case. So that would only fit an ITX model graphics card, Exactly. Right? So if you want to upgrade, you got to make sure that you look up for another ITX sized GPU, so not a full sized like this, it will never fit. No. So a single and fan model, yes, that will go well. And what's also unique about this is that even though it's so small, it still has its own dedicated uh, CPU uh, heatsink with extended heat pipes to you know to really provide the cooling power for even a 9700. So you got no, you got no worries to worry about. The Trident 3. So this is the white version. And like I said, there's also the black version, but it's exactly the same. And now, I was asking, will it come with Fortnite decor? Ooh. Why is everybody so interested in Fortnite? It's a very popular game. Hmm. Really guys, you like Fortnite that much? Okay. And people are also talking about Apex in chat. Like the Battle Royale thing is, it's a really big trend. Uh, it started off with PUBG and Fortnite and now <coughs> Apex and but, uh, we have Blackout. No, I don't, it's not going to come with the Fortnite decor. Not that I'm aware of. Maybe it will come. Who knows? But I think there are some. Yeah, there are some special custom made. Like, like, yeah, custom made yeah. skins that you but can. But it's, it's not like it's going to come out like that regularly. No. And so what's Apex? It's anything like Fortnite. It's it's the same. It has the same context as Fortnite, except it is a battle royale yeah, game, so but it's, it's more like a Titanfall style. So it's a mix style of uh, some popular games, but still having the same battle royale concept. So you jump out of somewhere. Even that's the same. <laughs> yeah, but you don't <clears throat> use a parachute or something. I think you just land yeah, on you the have ground like and a, you can actually you have fly like a in jet, pairs. You have like a jetpack or yeah. something, and you just fly in the apex. Yeah, you can also usually. In battle royales, people fly separately. Yeah. But I think in Apex, you, yeah, can, you have can have like one leader in, gripes, to, in yeah. groups. So that's really fun. And uh, lastly, to mention, you know, what's the what's really so unique about <laughs> David this? David Wilson is asking Minesweeper version. Ah, oh, come on, guys. That's something we really? should consider. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Can it run we? Crisis? Another question. Can it run Crisis? Oh yes, boy. It can. <laughs> I think if you want to if you want to run crisis with this thing, then uh, you better throw it out of the window just because it's so easy to throw. But of course you can run crisis. <clears throat> so okay, let me continue with uh, this little bad boy. So the last uh, but not the least special feature about this is that it's actually one of the smallest gaming desktops in the world. That's VR ready already. So VR ready already. Yeah. <laughs> so if you really enjoy uh, VR, you know, no worries, go for it. We have the VR link uh, on the back and on the front. Enjoy your VR. Don't mind the size of it. It's packed with power and even uh, fit for the VR. Okay, well it added anyways. The Super USBs. So it used to be 3 at 3rd gen, 3.1s. And we have the Type-C headphone jacks and uh, microphone, of course, on the front. And here on the back, <coughs> So even though it's quite small in size, it still has everything that you need. And again, like Mike said already, right, we have plugged this two in because we don't want to confuse some uh, newbies to uh, put in their HDMI cables in here instead of in your actual graphics card. So, yeah, yeah. 
So that's the Trident 3. And before we uh, <clears throat> before we're done with the Trident 3, I have a last thing to show you about the Trident 3. So I kept talking about, you know, just uh, how small this actually <laughs> is. So the volume is only 4.72 liters. So it's not even 5 liters in volume. Joseph Gonzalez saying in chat, doesn't MSI stand for Minesweeper Innovation? Maybe somebody, we need a name change. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, I think we, we're gonna need a meeting with Eric. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's MicroStar International, but my sweeper innovations might be a good future net. We have a million dollar right idea right here. <laughs> All right. So, four point seventy two liters. What does that actually mean in volume? You know, how much like, fluid can you actually fit? I, I have something to show what it looks like okay now we are approaching danger zone guys this so is what nearly five liters looks like in water yes so we have like close to 2.5 liters here and two here so we can get quite a good 4.5 liters in already close to five okay if you make everything waterproof here yes uh, in case you spill i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna do my best all right guys? i'll drag another winner in the meanwhile so if you haven't participated yet, please do so. Go to msi.com slash to slash insider. You can see it on top as well. I will also post it again in chat. If you cannot see the link there, you can go directly to uh, our Gleam page where you can participate. Are you guys ready? We're going to murder the Trident 3. Just wait for a second, yeah. We also need to yes. draw another winner because I'm sure everyone's dying to My hands today. are itching. <laughs> so we have another one? Almost. The next winner. Tense moment. Tense moment. Oh, not yet. Not yet. I think... Oh, oh you I can pronounce so. this. I just did the last one. It was quite difficult. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay, so I'll try this, do one. this one. So, our next winner is Fausto Gonzalo Osorio Cruz. I'm very sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, but congratulations, you won one of the 20 US dollar value Steam codes. Sometimes I think that people do this on purpose. Just yeah, they have to, difficult names not, on purpose. Yeah, just no, to, no, I mean, just to mess up, just to mess with the hosts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the they know we're already so <sighs> generous to give them free stuff and then they make our lives hard to pronounce their difficult names. <laughs> well, actually, I can totally feel it because my name is not easy, trust me. All right, so we have the Trident 3 laying here and we are about to drown it. So... Uh, David right, is already we are... saying ultimate water cooling. Exactly, so <laughs> it's, it has been running so hot, you know, we're gonna just straight up put in some water in there without tubes, without heat sinks, just straight up water, all right? No, actually, I already did all the hard work. I disassembled this whole thing. I took out all the hardware to make more space for this fluid. So we can show you, you know, just, you know, how much this 4.72 liters in volume actually means. So we have close to that right here. And we're gonna try to fit everything in here. Meanwhile, not trying to spill water all over a desk and cause fire and short, uh, short, what do you mean, like, like um, short circuit? circuit? Short circuit, yes. All right, so uh, I can do this. You want to do that? Or yeah, sure. All right, so uh, we're gonna pour this in Let's right now, uh, guys. Show it from close. So it's about two liters right here. And we hope it's not gonna leak. So far, so good. Not spilling yet. No, not really. So this is two liters. Yep. Wong is asking, is it waterproof? We we made it waterproof <laughs> Not for this, anymore. but don't <laughs> try this at home. We took all the hardware out, so if you have a yeah. Trident, <clears throat> don't do this with the hardware in. All right. Or you want to do this? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so guys, we gave you the disclaimer, don't try this at home. Poor Trident. It's, it's a bad idea if the hardware is still in there. Yeah. But sometimes you got to shower your PC. I mean, everybody knows that, right? <laughs> Oh, it's reaching the... It's re... 
Oh, all right, all right. I'm not sure we can show this to you guys, but uh, if I press down on this, I can almost touch the water. And this is metal, so I can't really press much. So I think totally filled up with yeah, water. I think we're, we're just good. <laughs> so to show you again, you know, here's the the two uh, jugs that we filled up, almost close to uh, 4.7 liters. So actually close to five, and. There isn't really much jiggle, well, wiggle room anymore, and uh, now it's probably again, quite heavy as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it means, guys, to uh, have a 4.72 liters uh, in volume, small form factor gaming desktop. And again, don't try this at home. No, right? Don't. Re really <laughs> don't. <laughs> and I'm proud of myself. I sealed it so well. Yeah, there's nowhere leaking. Wow. So proper water. Cooling. All right, guys. <laughs> Whew. And um, uh, if you guys still have any questions, please ask them now. Uh, Jonas is having a suggestion: <laughs> clip this and upload it as MSI how to clean your MSI how to clean your computer. Uh, well, I, <laughs> I think someone is going to get fired if we uh, if we try that. Yeah, probably. <laughs> so, so guys, please don't do that. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, please, if you have any questions, ask them right now because we have approached the end of this live stream already and uh, we really hope you enjoy this. And uh, for now, in the meanwhile, we'll just announce you know, what's next week and if you have any questions, please ask them now. Or uh, Let's draw our final winner in the meantime. I think we can do one Mike more, is so right? generous, guys. He wants to give you guys another yeah. code. I want another one. Let me... Who is it going to be? Just give me a second, I need to go to the right page. Our next winner is... I think it's my name. time to pronounce the name. Ah, I can it's do that. definitely your time. Alright, we have a winner. Congratulations to you, uh, Christopher John Hamill. Hamlin. Hamlin. Hamlin, yes. yes. I, I hope so. you enjoy your $20 uh, Steam Congratulations. gift Congratulations. Yeah. And uh, if you guys don't have any questions anymore, um, so we'll next week, the end, and next week we'll go we down. We have a really to cool topic: a, a trip down memory lane with MSI. Yes. So we will. And Mike. Yeah, I will be there definitely. Yeah. Uh, I will go to the basements of MSI here, and I will try to find all kinds of different old hardware. So if you are curious about what hardware looked like ten years ago, for example. <sighs> Make sure to tune in next week. And also, if you have any questions about hardware history, make sure to fire yeah. them at us next week. So this is an expert right here. If you have any questions, please tune in next week and uh, I'll, make I'll, his life difficult. I'll try to include Eric as well. He's a little bit older, oh. older than me, so he can oh, yeah. talk about he, old hardware better. Well, his, his trip down the memory is going to be a, long, a lot longer than yours, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, then uh, this is it for uh, this week's uh, live stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, Thank you for we joining, did, everyone. Yeah, we didn't hope break see you next anything. Week. It was really great. We didn't there was no fire. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, hope to see you next week. And have a great day. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.